Babe, I'm home. <laughs> I'm happy to see you too. How was your day? Oh yeah? What'd you do? <laughs> You're telling me that you can peel an orange? So you just ate the whole thing? Orange crust. Where do you get these ideas from? I swear, I need to stay home every day just so you don't end up doing weird things like that. Remember last week when you fortified the front door because you were scared the mailman knocked on it? Yeah, but why would you assume that? Look, I know we're dating, but seriously, I have the biggest crush on you. You're blushing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't. So, how much longer are you going to hold on to me? Forever? Come on. I mean, yeah, I do love your hugs, but... But how am I going to play with your hair if your hug keeps my arms pinned down? Hey now, don't push me around. You're going to get us hurt. Seriously, this isn't a good idea. Frick! Holy mother! I don't care if it was an accident! I still hit my head against the table! What were you thinking? Of course it only happens because you're so clingy. Yes, you can't go an hour without texting me to check up. I just need to be involved in everything you do. Oh yeah, you're sorry. I'm, I'm going to our room. Is she crying? No, 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 no. <sighs> I'm terrible. This is exactly why I told myself not to get involved in a relationship. I can't treat her right. I need to go apologize. Hey, babe. I'm sorry. I... I know it doesn't make up for what I've done, but I know I did something terrible, and I'm terrible. All you were doing was giving me love, and I'm, I'm yelling at you for that. Maybe you did hurt me, but it, it was a mistake, a loving mistake, and it didn't even really hurt. So, please don't cry. I'm, I completely understand if you need time alone to process everything. And I don't expect you to even forgive me. I don't deserve it. I can give you all the space you need. And if you just want to end things and break up, we can do that. What? Why are you hugging me? No, no, you, you shouldn't. You can't forgive me. It's not that work was even bad. Or anything out of the ordinary. It's, you know, it's, it's just these bills. They keep coming, and I feel like I'm going to drown. So... <laughs> I thought maybe if I just took a small thing and, and blew it out of proportions, you would, you would kick me out and it would just be my trouble. I would no longer have to worry about dragging you down with me into debt. Do you remember when I hurt my back three months ago? Yeah, 
Well, apparently, even if you do everything right when it comes to lifting some of that stuff at the warehouse, it's just not enough. And I've been seeing a chiropractor, and that's the only thing that feels like it's keeping me alive. But the insurance stopped covering it. And if I file workman's comp, they're going to let me go. So I, I don't know what to do. And if you can't tell, I'm kind of bad at faking injuries. Like, I can't fake a really good one. How, how am I supposed to convince my boss that, you know, heavy boxes is what's causing me to wake up every morning in tears? I, I don't know. I... I try not to think about it when I come home. I see you and the, the cute things that you do. And it's, it's exactly how I want my life to be. I want to hear about you eating orange crusts. I want to hear about the cat you sometimes feed on the way home from university. I want to just enjoy being in your life for as long as I can. Because it feels like every day it is getting closer to the end. So that's why you should leave me. Because I'm going nowhere. And I don't see how that's ever going to change. When I lose this job and I can't afford to go to the chiropractor anymore, I won't be able to work again. And, and then what? I'm just going to ask for a handout? I can't do that. A back massage? That's not a bad idea. If I uh, get a little bit more attention from your soft hands, maybe, just maybe it's what the doctor ordered. Yeah, I'm really liking that idea. You would take a massage course? Mm. You want us to run off to Canada for the free health care? I don't know if they would let a dummy like me with a broken back cross the border. Now that actually sounds like a good idea. A job where I don't have to use my back? Uh, well, the pickers have to stand when they use their machines, but the guys that drive the forklifts actually get to sit all day. Maybe I'll ask for some training on that. And that way I don't have to keep straining my back every day. A <laughs> vacation? That sounds like a dream. Maybe that'll be where we start. <laughs>